Keegan, aka the Spore Whisperer. Yep. AKA Spore and Sprout. Yep, yep. We've been out here mushroom hunting before and we just found like so many different species of mushrooms. Yep, it was like, crazy. Like three baskets full. We found lobster mushrooms out here. Those are choice edible. So many rusulas out here. And then there's lots of uh, the polypore sponge looking mushrooms out here, like everywhere. Did you expect to see so many different species of mushrooms right here? No, I've been so many places in Michigan and and it's for the most part hard to find mushrooms. And here in, in Hale, Michigan, it is so abundant, the different types of species. So we were out there yeah. the other night and the ground just had mycelium. Is that what it is? Mycelium? Oh yeah, mycelium, yep. Yep, just it's just like these white spots on the ground just because the ground is like so rich with it. Is that what you typically look for? Is like a swampy area with like down trees or Yeah, yep. A lot of down trees and not too swampy though. Withstanding water is not good. But um just damp and shaded. They like to be in a shaded area. Oh yeah, what we were saying like about um some mushrooms being symbiotic with the root systems of trees. Oh, yeah. Yep, plants and stuff. Yeah, helps it send electrical signals and uh, transfer water between plants, and it just helps the plants communicate with each other. On Spore and Sprout, you can order your mushrooms. Um, what is that? An inoculation kit? Yeah. Yep. You can order uh, liquid culture syringes where you can inoculate your own substrate with it, and it will grow. Uh, your mushrooms for you. I started this from one syringe that I got from the internet and and mycelium propagates easily so knowing what you're doing you can take one syringe and turn it into hundreds and unlimited amount of syringes. So if anybody sees like any mushrooms that they would like to have in their garden mm -hmm. when watching these videos they can probably get a hold of you to yeah. get... Oh yeah. Okay let's do it. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah me too. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We got some Amanita muschiera, Var Gusevi. Wow. We gotta take the camera out and get a picture of this. Oh my gosh. All of these together. It's a family of Amanita. Look at over here. Oh yeah, I seen that one. That is beautiful. This is what we were looking for. Right off the bat, a whole family of them. Yeah, right when we walked in here, there's, I guarantee you we're probably gonna get a hundred of these. That is just, you can't miss that. Look at how yellow that is. Straight out of Mario. That's straight happiness right there. We're drying those bodies up, man. Are you yeah. gonna eat one? Ah, no, we're gonna dry it and do an extraction. See what kind of medicinal benefits they have hidden inside of them. <laughs> Look at that shit. That's dope. So we're gonna harvest one of these and see what it looks like. Yeah, these are perfect walked right in here and stumbled upon this so this beautiful family giants this one still has its skirt the dots on the top are just remnants of that skirt because it starts off as an egg and then it grows and then the skirt is kind of left on the cap there but that cap is there it's like a partial veil Those gills. So we're gonna go look for some more of these. Hopefully we'll have a few baskets full. Wow. This Another one. Another one behind it. That's a baby. Yeah. Wow, that one's gonna be big. That Another one over here. Right there. Yep, that one's got a red. That one's gonna be nice and red. There's one under here. Look at over here.
perfect one. That, um, that part up there. Oh yeah, that's a looks like Lactarius or something. Jackpot. Another one over there. Another two over there. Small ones? Yeah. Looks like ramen noodles. Yeah. Looks like uh, some antler fungi. They kind of look like antlers. Can you eat it? I don't know. Look at this giant one right here, bro. What are we looking at? Giant chanterelle. Wow. It's a chanterelle mushroom. We love these. Might just go home and cook that baby up. It smells like apricots. We have some type of mutation right here. Got some gills growing up the top here. That one's really cool. Looks like some type of mycena. All around this tree. He's got some nice gills on him. You make some prints? This would make good prints. Oh yeah, that's a picture right there. It's cool because it's in moss. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit, that one is perfect. All by itself. There's some babies of them over there. Wow. There's a slug on it. While I was using it as an umbrella. Wow, that cap is smooth. Mother of all Amanitas. Let's see how much it weighs. Holy crap. Perfect.